CSS Kenya Tamu sana tamu sana tamu sana is tamu sana Musalia's earthquake yesterday is still causing some ripples in western Kenya Yesterday, a group of about 30 members of parliament, mainly drawn from Western, came out guns blessing and denounced Musadia Mudavadi. That was yesterday. So today, former speaker of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marende, also dumped Musadia Mudavadi for Azimio. And while he was dumping Musadia Mudavadi, he had this to say. Listen into this that is developing if you associate with bad company. And so as a result of the step that my brother took yesterday, which I'll describe as a false step, and as a matter of fact to me, it is so reckless that I think my brother Musalia just acted in a manner typical of uh, a suicide bomber. <laughs> He threw a bomb, but did not realize that that bomb was wired on him. So my brother Musalia has blown himself up. We shall leave him in the past, because indeed we must take this country forward. If you are going to be development conscious, if you are going to deliver on an economy that is reformed, that is revitalized, indeed, as my brother speaks, then you must have the right company. And I'm afraid from yesterday, I see an act of betrayal. He has gone to bed with the wrong company. And for me, my DNA it does not agree with that company. We are not compatible, and so from yesterday, I and my brother on the political path, part company. He did not speak for the people of Vihiga. He did not speak for the people of Western Kenya. And least of all, did he speak for Kenyans. And so we will part ways and do what is right. You cannot do what is right if you act on what is wrong. And there's no gain saying, I have worked with uh, Honorable Musalia in Parliament. I have also worked with the company that he wants to keep. And I'm afraid, uh, going by the record that I have, which is authoritative, that company is completely wanting, it has no capacity to give us a progressive Kenya. And so for that reason, it is a no-go zone. I don't even know why my brother went there, because we had cautioned him that that is a no-go zone. So he cannot speak about economy, revival, reform, it can't fly. Not in that company. Yes, that's Kenneth Marende, former speaker of the National Assembly. And from the way he's talking, he is a disappointed man. He is disappointed because he can't just understand how Musalia Mudavan saw it fit to join William Ruto. Yes, because he's stating that actually they warned him they told him that that's not a go zone. And from the look of things, ladies and gentlemen, listening to opinion from all over, it seems to appear that the only people celebrating Musalia joining William Ruto are mainly Tangatanga -tanga people, people from Rift Valley and some leaders supporting William Ruto. But if you look at Musalia's backyard in Western, his is full Food soldiers, or rather his supporters, are silent. They can't just understand that political move Musalia has made. Hmm? They can't just understand it. And it's a given fact that that's, that move 
is most definitely a political blunder on the part of Musalia Mudavani. It, go, it goes contrary to the wishes of a majority of residents of Western, and in this case, I know even a majority of Musalia Mudavani's supporters, even those who maybe are not supported by Islam, they don't just understand why Musalia Mudavadi made that move yesterday. Because again, looking at the whole thing, and that is something we touched on yesterday, the only person who stands to gain politically in that kind of an arrangement is only William Ruto. Musalia Mudavadi, in my considered opinion, is going to gain nothing, or rather to get nothing, or to come out with nothing out of that political arrangement. And I'm saying that because of this, ladies and gentlemen. As things stand today, in Western, where Musalia Mudavadi comes from, a majority of residents there do not approve of that. So it means Musalia Mudavadi is going against their grain. He's most definitely going to lose support in Western. Mm? And then nationally, chances of William Ruto winning the presidency under the current political circumstances in Kenya are also very slim, very nil. In fact, if you do a scientific opinion poll today, then you will just see a trend that William Ruto is actually declining very, very fast, and his popularity is on a nostal. That is, again, something that I just don't understand how Musala Mudavadi chose, or rather saw it fit, to join a side that is clearly losing. Those are things, ladies and gentlemen, maybe Busalia Mudavadi should actually come out in good time to explain to Kenyans how, <coughs> how just are we joined William Ruto. In my considered opinion, I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, though this is largely my opinion, I'm seeing Musala Mudavadi might have been influenced by some other factors, but not, all, but not political factors. Because as things stand politically, Musalia joining William Ruto is adding no value to Musalia politically. In fact, I've been stating here that Musalia Mudavadi, his political career was very bright in the Azimio team. Because largely Western, we know Raila won't be long, he won't stay long in the political scene. And Musalia Mudavadi, if he could be smart, he could be a very smart politician, he could have played. Mm, he could have played low in the Azimio team. Upon Raila's departure, Musalia Mudavadi could have been the natural heir to inherit Raila's traditional support bases in Western automatically. Whether Raila would support him or not, Musalia would definitely inherit that support. But with this kind of a political move, I'm seeing a situation where maybe a leader in Western currently angling in the Azimio team might just emerge, or rather might come up, to be a very strong force in Western. And that will just send Musala Budavadi to his political grave permanently. So in my considered opinion, I'm in full agreement with Marende that actually Musala Budavadi made a very big political blunder. It was a political blunder, and there are no buts about that. And then secondly, ladies and gentlemen, also, if you look at the things maybe Musalia has been talking about, the economy, corruption, how is Musalia Mudavan going to realize that in a team, a team that has been all along accused of corruption, a team that has all leaders who have been implicated in some of the mega corruptions in this country, how is Musalia Mudavan going to realize that? That also is a big blow to Musalia Mudavadi because it waters down all this thing, or rather all this talk of his economic revival, such kind of talks. They are now be, is just now being seen as a joker. Somebody is just talking, but inwardly it does not mean actually what he's saying. So again, ladies and gentlemen, let me state again that Musalia's move yesterday was a political blunder. And it's still too early. Maybe Musala Mudavadi hmm, can, can see some sense. Because in this YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, we just analyze politics as it is. Hmm. We state facts as they are. Hmm. Musala Mudavadi, it's still too early maybe for him 
if actually he's looking at the bigger picture, at a, at a brighter political future, then that's not the way to go. That's a political blunder. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you that if you've just bumped here for the very first time, very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to those watching us outside Kenya, for the very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.